Ali. Here is another five good comic book covers. And for the first time ever, I think, this is based on a theme suggested by a viewer. Well, not really. They wanted me to do something else entirely. But I had next to no comics appropriate for that. So instead, I tried to satisfy them by just doing five covers with their favourite character instead. It is Seaman. And we are starting the proceedings with XL's 15, which is a really good cover and a terrific image of Seaman that many Seaman fans might have missed out on. In fact, they later did a throwback to this cover. This one here, where it introduced Sea Woman. It was actually a female version of Seaman. I really like this XL's cover. I like the issue or the story. Mimic versus Seaman. Really good. It seems an age since we had Simon Waltonson show his face in these covers videos. This is the variant cover to Defenders number 5. The incredibly lacklustre 2011 ongoing series that was cancelled so quick it was more of... A non-going series. This, of course, is Seaman's more modern look. This was what he was wearing when he was on The Excellent Men. Slightly based on the 70s suit that Seaman wore because of... Reasons... I am really glad, though, that Simon Waltonson did not draw the excellent men X-shaped belt buckle here. If he had have done, I would not have included this in the video. Now, this one is Avengers vs. Invaderaz number 5. This is the variant cover. Again, a variant. This is the one by Mike Diddy Dardo Jerk. And I like this cover. It's a good cover. I picked this out because it also fits the theme that the viewer actually requested, which was five good Miss Marbles covers. Five good... Karen Dagger's covers from Before They Ruined Her by making her into Smelly Brie Larson's. Now close to this happens in this issue. Here is four issue eight with its cover by someone who cannot meet deadlines. As I said when I reviewed it, I kind of call it four. It just sounds like I'm talking about four. Nice triumphant shot of Seaman. There was actually a lot of covers to pick from for this video. So much that I could do another one tomorrow. But that would be shit because I have just done five good comic book covers with this character. You don't need to see another five until at least March 2024. I mean, you haven't even seen any Jason Byrne in this one. This was the cover that put the idea in my mind to do this as a theme. I thought, hey, Woody, Nora, that'd be a good cover image, hey. I do wonder if they be five. I have that all are of same man. That is how I really think. 
And then, when I was working out which five to feature, this was almost not even Ganon to show up. I was Ganon to have a David Fincher cover instead. Really odd to whittle down to just these five. But this one is a great cover and definitely deserving of being on this list. And the issue itself is hilarious because the exact opposite happens inside. Mr. Fantasticals fucking owns Seaman and compares him to a leech. We end with this one, the best of the bunch in my eyes. This is Seaman issue 5 from 2000 and summer, 2010 or 2011. Definitely not beyond 2012, otherwise I would probably not own it. Mike Mayhem did this. And it is a nice one because it is set in the past. This is Seaman in the 50s with his girl Betty. The one that was featured in the Jeremy Ordinary Alan Brunet Seaman one shot. Which if you missed that video, go and read that fucking issue. The most unreluctant. I have been to appreciate a current Marvel comic. This is one of them covers that is nice because you can just ignore the comic inside. It is depicting Summit from decades earlier. It allows you to relive the past for a bit. If they ever did an omnibus of Golden Age... Seaman stories. They would be morons not to repurpose this as a uh, quote, new, unquote, cover for the omnibus. Ahoy! That is what I reckon Seaman should say more. Instead of hello, he should start saying ahoy. Five comic book covers that are good there. Maybe four, or three, or two, or one, or none, in your opinion. But this is my bleeding video. Feel free to keep your suggestions for themes coming in. Who knows? Maybe when you suggest Dead Pills covers. I am so ill-equipped... That I come up with an unrelated alternative that you like even more. I'll give the covers featured in this video a deep sea seven thumbs up. Namor the first, prince of Atlantis, emperor of the deep, lord of the seven seas, returns to his domain in fabled Atlantis to save his throne from warlord Krang who tried to seize it during his absence. My prince, at last you have returned. Ahoy, 